What's up gamers? We're back with another Marvel Future Fight video. Now, I don't always go and buy all the suits just because there's the suits, but I had to get the Superior Spider-Man suit for two reasons. One, Doc Ock is just not a good character. I do not like the way he plays. I do not like his damage output. There's really nothing I like about him. And I love Spider-Man, and when you get the Spider-Man suit, it is like a completely different character. All the moves are entirely different. He doesn't look like Doc Ock at all. Actually, he reminds me more of like Yellow Jacket, the way that he moves around. I, I don't know. I really was not a fan of the Doc Ock, you know, move set. It just seemed really hard to use and clunky and all that stuff. Let's take a look at the mastery and all the abilities on it. Let's see. Apply to all team members, HP. In fact, I remember thinking that Doc Ock was just like a bad version of Captain America. Eh, maybe not the case. He's a physical attack. So I've got physical attack all there in the first slot there. All defense in the second slot. That very first slot I probably could do all defense also. Or physical defense by level is fine also. HP by level in the first slot. And here in the last one... I don't, it doesn't matter much. Um, I like the dodge gear on him, so I've got the 35% dodge gear that seems to make the most sense. And let's see what the suit bonus is. Suit bonus on him is activate ratio while dodging, apply to self, increase damage by 120% one times for five seconds. So every eight seconds, there's a cooldown on this. And so having the dodge booster even makes the most sense. I would get the dodge booster anyways, but it makes the most sense to have the dodge booster, especially with his suit bonus. All right, let's look at his teammates. Let's build a team a, a team bonus with Doc Ock. Where are you at? Right there. Uh, let's see here. Essence of Evil. Boy, that looks like a fun one right there. All right, we'll set that one there. And we'll put Doc Ock in the middle. And I don't even want to call him Doc Ock. He is definitely Spider-Man now. He looks just so... He looks insanely good. I mean, he's really good. All right, let's do two different missions. We're going to go into the bonus mission here, and then we'll go into a regular team-up mode and just let him run through and do his stuff and watch him clear out. His moveset is nothing like... Oh, look at that. That is not even close to the same as the way it was before. It is infinitely better. Now, I haven't done any playtesting to see if the damage output is much higher, but frankly, the damage output on Dr. Octopus was just absolutely horrific. So hopefully, Spider-Man now is better. He looks cooler, and I love Spider- I love Spider-Man. I mean, who doesn't love Spider-Man? <laughs> Even Grace likes Spider-Man. She says that's her favorite. Spider-Man and Batman, she still asks me every time I play Future Fight or Contest of Champions, where's Batman? <laughs> it's like, oh, it's DC, not Marvel. And she's like, well, that's not fun. All right, so he seems okay. I don't know. Let's go and do a team-up mode, and hopefully we get... Oh, look at that! That is awesome! Ooh. Can you say thumbnail? I gotta make one of those the thumbnail for sure. Okay. <laughs> Flying around like that is awesome. All right, let's go into a team up arena. Team up play. And we're gonna go find Doc Ock. Boy, I gotta get him to level 50. When I get him to, or not level 50, I guess I gotta get him to level 55 now. Boy, they changed everything, didn't they? So I have to level every character. Let's hit start. And hopefully we get some other five star heroes here in the battle. All right, we got Iron Man and a six-star Black Widow. Actually, I, I think he'll do more damage than Iron Man for sure. I don't think he'll do more damage than the Black Widow. Uh, if he does more damage than the Black Widow, I'm going to say that he was drastically improved by this suit bonus. Uh, Iron Man, you know, is okay. Really is like a, not a, a, you know, I would say tier two character, not tier one. Black Widow, though, can do some serious damage if she's equipped correctly with the lightning bolt. And Doc Ock in the past was tier 3. You know, he's just, in my opinion, one of the worst characters. So 
If he outdoes damage of Iron Man, that's awesome. I ex kind of expect that, actually. But if he does more damage than Black Widow, I'd be like, ooh, sickness. I don't know. All right, so we're going through this. So I, I'm, I'm really actually very curious to see where the damage comes out on this. So much better. I really like Spider-Man. I really, 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 really like Spider-Man. Boy, his abilities are entirely different. I really like this. Look at that. Does that affect the whole team? Does the whole team get damage boost on that? I'm gonna hit this right here. It looks like everybody gets a, a booster, which is awesome. I gotta look at that. I'm not sure what that is. Boy, this is taking a little longer than I thought. I thought it would have been done pretty close to here to the four minute mark. But I guess we're not doing a lot of damage here. Between. I mean, that six star at level 41 is really not a six star. Uh, you know, the six stars really don't kick in until like level 55, it seems like. Or they start just getting insane. So. Boy, with the level cap boosting, I just have so much farming to do. Thank goodness for autoplay. Boy, and I gotta make a Jessica Jones video too. I've got her unlocked and I haven't made a video about her yet. So that'll be coming out here soon too. If not today, tomorrow. Yep, right in the middle like I predicted. Actually, look at that. The damage there, 279 to 290. I just want to say that this is a drastic improvement. I really think this uh, uniform makes him much, much better. Anyhow, thanks for watching and keep on gaming.